Semantic Endpoint Protection is the free antivirus and anti-spyware client provided for Northeastern students to use on their own personal Windows computers. Information Services strongly recommends that any student running Windows has a current and up-to-date antivirus program installed. To download Semantic Endpoint Protection, you must log into the MyNEU portal. Once logged in, click on the Self-Service tab. Click on Software Downloads. Select Semantic Antivirus for XP Vista in Windows 7. Click Continue. Read and review the license agreement. And then click on Accept. If you have Windows XP, select the 32-bit version. If you have Windows Vista or Windows 7, you can determine if you have a 32 or 64-bit operating system by clicking on the Start menu, right-clicking on Computer, and selecting Properties. The system type should be listed in the system section of the panel that appears. Download and run the installer. Follow the on-screen prompts to install the software. To update semantic endpoint protection, open the main interface from the tray at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Once open, click the Live Update button. The Live Update application will then proceed to download and install the latest updates for the software. Semantic Endpoint Protection will attempt to monitor your computer in the background, but you can also use it to scan your entire hard drive for ma malicious files. To run a scan from the main interface, simply select the Scan for Threats tab and click on Run Full Scan. You can also schedule a scan to run automatically from time to time. To do this, select the Scan for Threats tab and click on Create a New Scan. You will then be asked to select a type of scan. Select Full Scan to scan your entire hard disk for threats. Click the Next button. Leave all file types selected to scan all of your files. Click Next again and you will be asked when you would like to run the scan. Choose at specific times and click next again and you will be asked to choose the time and frequency at which you would like to run the scan. Click next. You can op optionally give your scan a unique name and description. Select finish and your scan will run as specified. Make sure you leave your computer on when the scan is supposed to run.